Hey, buddy, welcome back to no, okay. <laughs> welcome back to the episode of Shadow Gaming Pickups. In the last episode, I ended the video off saying Shadow Gaming News, which I am sorry, I didn't mean news. I meant pickups. Uh, as always, and my teeth actually look white for once. So I'm surprised. Um, maybe maybe that fucking extra shine for my teeth is working. I guess I don't fucking know. Anyways, <laughs> you don't want to see me smile all that time. Okay, but as always, I actually have six games here today. Uh, I'm doing like three videos today of Shadow Gaming Pickups, which I have not done, which is like a bunch of games. Uh, anyways, um, so I'm just going to start off with actually uh, 360 games and then off end off on uh, Nintendo games, okay? Just because uh, this is how it goes, so... Yes, yeah, so, I don't fucking know. Uh, as you can probably see, I own this. Yeah, you saw that kind of. <laughs> okay, um, so I've actually rearranged it for uh, what games are more epic and then what games are like, hey, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, okay, got it. Okay, <clears throat> got it. Leave it to me. Thinking Sonic Heroes. Okay, the first game was actually going to be a game I actually picked up about less than a month ago. About, about less, than, less than a month ago. I got this game for $7. Now, I have a little story on this, and you're probably saying, great, it's going to be fucking longer than the video's going to be. Like, I'm going to try to make it short, which it's probably going to be short. Now, I have a friend, he's called Connor, but but, but his, his, his YouTuber username and all that jazz is uh, Mr. Magna Ragnarok, Mr. Grand Magna Rock, oh, Mega King Magna Rock, Ragnarok in general, Mr. Ma Mr. Ragnarok in general. Connor. All right. Uh, he's told me to only get... One game, just just one game, and like at the time, I didn't care for the game that much. It's like, yeah, I see every here and there, and every time, ten dollars or so. I'm like, no one fucking buys the game. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but like, I see at the same stores almost like every time I go to the stores. So I just realized. This time, it's not even 10, it's 7. So they, less, they lessened the game by $3. So I'm thinking, eh, you know, I'll f actually, if I can actually pick it up today. So I did, but this is the thing. Connor told me to get that game about a year ago. A year ago, in summer, which he LP'd it for a Pacific Channel, which I'm not going to name now because he's because that channel's not up anymore, but... Or walkthrough, I should say. But... It was a year ago. Maybe a year and a half ago. It was long ago. It was a year plus ago. Well, I'm just going to go with the year because it sounds more professional. So, a year ago. Told me to get this one game a year ago. Just just one. And and I told him just to get, like, what, two games? Pikmin and uh, Last Story. Which, you know, I got Last Story that long ago. But whatever. And then Pikmin I got, like, forever. <laughs> Launch date, basically. Uh, but, but this is the game. He told me to pick up this game, and specifically, a year ago, and a half, or something. Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon for the Xbox 360 only. It even tells you right here. <laughs> so I didn't even have to look it up, because I knew if they say it like that only, I would know. And it has not been a, a remake, or or really anything else. There has been a second one, but it's like Dragon, Blue Dragon Plus, which is on the DS or something, which I don't get it yet, but I had to beat this game first. Now, all he told me is just to play the game. That's all. I told him here and there before, oh yeah, I actually know about the game. Uh, one of my friends owned it. I don't know if he still has it. I don't know if he liked it. I don't know. Uh, this was like one of the, one of the not launch title games, but it was one of those games that was really early on the Xbox 360 uh you know, game history of what you can get now and stuff like that in 2007. And it was like a lot of underrated games in 2007, and it still is, and I still don't know the games. But Blue Dragon, if you want to get the game, I highly recommend it. It's 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 a it's a fantastic game, and I'm trying to block the fucking light. Hey, light, wait, wait, where you at? That still doesn't work. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let me just tilt a little bit over here. Eh, you know better. Okay, but oh, and you see a list right here. I kept, this is a list of something, which I kept over here and over there, and I'm messing around with paper, so I can actually do Shadow Gaming News. Or, pickups, Shadow Gaming pickups. Okay. A Blue Dragon, uh, I actually really recommend it. It's so cheap, um, especially if you find all three discs. I didn't know this game was a three-disker, if that's even a word. It's probably not. Three discs. Here, 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 here. One. 
two, three. All three discs. Uh, I, uh, all of them look good. I still cleaned. I still cleaned them. It still looked looked better actually. Just like some fingerprints and stuff. And that was like my number one thing. I didn't know this game was three discs long. I was like, oh my god. So I'm thinking PlayStation One era again because PlayStation One era they have like every game out there for like millions of other discs and you just don't lose them. So it's like a very interesting concept. But anyways, uh, Blue Dragon. I haven't even got that far. I'm still in the beginning of the game. I only beat the Land Shark and then when it gave me the option to actually save the game, I did because I I wanted to test it out if it was okay and good. I do like it. Uh, probably just gonna be some times here and there I'm gonna fucking like hate the game. But that's like every game. But uh, I saved the game right after I found the first save point and I just stopped and then I started playing the game. I was still continuing on like Kid Icarus Uprising or uh, Batman Arkham Asylum at the time, which I've beaten now, so that's good. And uh, like Skyward Sword, Zelda, and what's not. So yeah, Blue Dragon. I it's a it's a recommend. I for all all RPGs uh, fans out there, I recommend it. You know who else recommended it? Just pointing out, other than Connor, <laughs> uh, Stephen plays or Stephen George, as everyone knows him. Stephen Stephen Vlog, Stephen Vlogs or Stephen Vlog. I don't know. And uh, Stephen plays. If you know him, Stephen George, he actually recommended that game a year and a half ago in one of his vlogs. It was like in his old apartment. If you know who what he's doing in life and all that stuff. So I'm not gonna tell you go find that video, but. It might have been something like titled like Xbox 360 RPG games or RPG games or something with Xbox 360. It's gonna be titled something like that on this channel. So if you want to help him go find it, go find it because he really did recommend this game. I rec like he has it, so it, it you know it, it's good. Anyways, the next game is actually a game uh, my cousin Exceeding Wolf gave me, but I had to get get the case by myself and I had to go ask Game Software. It's like, hey, do you have a case like extra for this game? And thank God it did because. Not every game they have fucking extra cases for, which they don't. If it's like newer games, they will. So, I got Resident Evil 6. Now, uh, Josh, I don't fucking know how he got the game. He, it also came with this uh, DLC bonus disc thing. I don't know. I'm not going to question it. I, I don't care if it's... Like, he got the game from his friend. I don't care if his friend didn't want the game. He just fucking stole the game. I don't care. At least he gave me the game. So, and... <laughs> Like, I don't know, I guess his friend had the game for, like, months or, so, like, a couple weeks or months, I don't know. Like, he just didn't like it or something, I don't care. But at least, I got the game, I actually have not even booted it up yet, and I really feel bad, because, like, I, I know it's going to be a good game, but it's not. I, I know it's not the greatest Resident Evil game there is. Because, this game just, everyone tells me, oh, it's totally not a Resident Evil game, it's like a zombie horror survival game which I hear a lot um, it might be a bad or good thing depending on that but in general I don't know because I'm not big on Resident Evil I'm not uh, the other Resident Evil games I want to get is 5 and 4 it's because 4 I actually played that before <laughs> and 5 uh, I'm hearing it's like the best one <laughs> or maybe because it's the best one after before this one so I, or I, I don't know the Little Raccoon City, which I guess no one remembers, so... Anyways, Resident Evil 6. Uh, I can't tell you to recommend it, playing it. I just haven't even booted it up. But I got it, so thanks, Josh. So, Kidding Wolf, there you go. Shout out. Now, the next game... <sighs> mixed reviews for... <laughs> mixed... Very mixed reviews. I was speaking about this on Twitter a lot when it came out. This The whole week... Of it coming out. And then the next week, I was still talking about it. During that next week, I gave it my final review. And it feels great. And, uh... It feels great that I actually gave it a rank. A lot of people tell me, is it good? Is it bad? Is it evil? I don't fucking know. It's an average game. This game is not the best of the franchise at all. I recommend number three. Alright? This is not number three I'm going to show you. This is like the fourth game in the franchise. But in not timeline order, just the fourth game they sent out ever. So I got this game on launch day online, but I don't know. <laughs> Gears of War Judgment. Now, Gears of War Judgment. 
I'm looking at it. I'm like, I'm thinking, is it is it gonna like fucking do something like like 3D like pop in your face or something? No. Gears of War Judgment. I played it. I, I was like, I played a demo before, like before playing it, because my friend Anthony wants to play it together, and I was like, oh, that's that's totally fine. I understand. And I was just playing the demo, which uh. The demo threw me off. I was like, okay, why are these controls different? And I'm thinking, oh, it's just probably the demo. I play the actual game. The game is exactly like the demo. They changed the button layout so bad. That that's the main problem with this game. It's the button layout. It's some and some of the things they took off the game. Oh my god, if you're used to Gears of War 1, 2, and or 3, which is the best one in the franchise still to this day, you're going to hate Gears of War Judgment. It's totally different. My friend Anthony, uh, Zombie Dog XC Triple I, he gave this name something that I totally 100% agree with it. It's Call of Duty in third person. Not first person, but third person Call of Duty. Gears of War Judgment... I gave it an average rating. I give it a 7 out of 10 or a 7.5 out of 10. It's one of those two. I don't remember. It's like 7 something. Now, I wasn't basing it off of all the original Gears of War games. I was just basing it off some of like, oh, it's up. stories, okay, boring, you know, controls. Fucking, why did he change it? Didn't he change it? That was like a huge letdown. And then, um... So it's like, okay, you don't have three guns anymore, you have two. It's like, what the fuck? And then your th your, 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 tac your tactical button on your 360 controller? Like this one. Okay, so, uh, okay. this button, your tactical. <sighs> it's your grenade button now. And you can't switch with the D-pad anymore. You have to press Y, like a fucking Call of Duty game. What the fuck, man? Anyways, in general... Gears of War Judgment. It's not a bad game. It's not a good game or great game. It's an okay game. The last boss in the game. Not not the aftermath story, but the actual the main game. Barely felt like an end boss. I felt like it was like a fucking like midway, almost done with the game boss. That was not a good end boss. If I played the end boss in Gears of War three. That feels like an end boss. Gears of War 1 still had that potential. So Gears of War 2 had that potential. Just not judgment. It, the aftermath, it made it feel more like a Gears of War game, but it was just telling you a story after this part, uh, before the specific part in Gears of War 3 happened, which is fucking great. It's better than the whole game itself. Online, it's not bad. I'm used to it now. It took a while, but... I'm used to it, and yeah, there's gonna be sometimes I actually can still press my attack com, thinking it's an attack com, but it's a fucking grenade now. I was like, oh my god, I'm just fucking tired. And, oh, if you wanna know what the attack button is now, it's your fucking D-pad. Your D-pad. Mm. After after the guy that made or co made uh, Gears of War Judgment or just Gears of War franchise in general before Judgment, uh, Cliff Bl Blisinski, that guy. He made really fantastic games. And then what the fuck happened with this game? He's not around anymore. He left the company while in the game was making being made. It's like, oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Anyways, that's his uh, Gears of War Judgment. I know I probably spoke the most about this game. Uh, if you, if anyone's out there, Gears of War Judgment is not the best Gears of War game there is. Go play Gears of War 3. You would love me. You would straight up love me. Go do it. Judgment, there are some good things in the game, but it doesn't cover how many bad things are in the game. So, it's an average game. I, I think I left out some of my anger. <laughs> okay, now, uh, that's the last one for the 360 games until next episode. Um, but this episode, we're still going to continue because uh, I know it's a bit longer. I'm trying to not do it as long, but I have to try to do these. The next game I actually got again from Exceeding Wolf. Um, he got a deal on it at his like fucking friend. He goes like, Oh hey Josh, have the game. I know you have a Wii. Yeah. Here, five dollars. Oh, okay. Fuck. And then Josh is uh and the kindness to his heart, he just gave me the game. I was like, Hey, thanks, dude. Um, except the thing is 
That's not the story. Josh fucking... <sighs> Josh got the game. But he gave it back to his friend. And I'm thinking, why'd you do that? It's like, something you blah, 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 game stop, blah, blah, blah. He worked at game. It's like, okay, great, whatever. I had to go to the game stop. His friend was working there, and I got it for $5. And I also got a stupid guidebook for free, because no one wanted it. Okay, at least the guidebook's pretty cool. I got to admit that. Guidebook's cool. And I actually have been playing this game with uh, the Mr. Day 64, which I was surprisingly not ready to play the game. But hey, I was like, hey, it's co-op. Maybe we can beat the game together. So it'd be more interesting. So... I think that's actually what we're trying to do now. <laughs> Not, like, intentionally, but I think that's actually what we're doing now, so. I got this, Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, Guidebook, and the game on the Wii, which I was actually wanted to get on the Wii U, because, uh, less pointing at the screen with the, the nunchuck and Wii Remote and stuff, so. So, uh, thanks, Josh, and fuck you, same time, except the only thing, uh, like, thanks for, oh, you sold it back to GameStop for the guy, friend, guy, but he gave me the fucking guidebook for free, and I got the game still for $5, but whatever, it's probably like a, like a thank you, most likely. Anyway, oh yeah, uh, Epic Mickey 2, The Power 2, um, I gotta say, it's actually more funner than Epic Mickey 1, because it doesn't have that dark feeling, and doesn't feel like you're getting lost, uh, all the time, so I recommend maybe number 2 better than 1. Plus it's co-op, so it's probably better than that too, so, anyways. The next game, I actually got it for $7. Um, this game is very, very underrated. Um, it's just like Blue Dragon. This game, um, I, I knew about it. Like, I wasn't too big on it when it came out. And I know there was a game on the Virtual Console for it for Japan only. And if I tell you that one Japan only game and what version, or sorry, console it was for originally, you probably might already know what it is. It was for the Nintendo 64. But, the game, if you know what game I'm talking about, it's a sequel, though. This game is Sin and Punishment Star Successor. So, I'm originally talking about Sin and Punishment from the Virtual Console on Japan. So, uh, so I want to get that game now. Uh, uh, Sin and Punishment Star Successor. Uh, I was just curious. I was like, okay, it's one of those games like, yeah, like, I don't know if I want, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, years passed. The game was like $50 at the time. I was like, no, I don't want to take a chance on a game. I don't even know if it would be good or not. And then when, you know... <laughs> It's a good game. I don't know if it's a long game or not. It's, if you know Wild Guns or Gradius, it's that. It's basically that together. Like, fuck, it's just great. It's great. It's, it's very, it's very, it's very good. I gotta admit that. Um, there's two characters. I barely even know their names. I know Isa and some other character. I think they're like Spanish characters because that sounds like it to me. But I recommend this game. It's actually pretty fun. It's only $7 or less, so... Okay. Oh, if GameStop says it's pretty like 10 or plus, tell them to look online. They will give you for cheaper because that's actually the online price for GameStop. $7. Oh, if it's used. If it's 10. If it's new, 10. They're going to give it for 10. So, anyways, um, that's uh, Sin and Punishment Star Sexer. And I just got to say, this game is fantastic. It's like literally when I booted it up, I was like, oh my god, I want to fucking like screw all my games right now playing and play this only. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's even on like one of my lists right now to beat. But and I have like other games like The World Ends With You, Sonic Chronicles, Dark Brotherhood, and just many more that I don't even have on my list yet to beat. And I got those games like a while back. And I already have this on my list I want to beat now. I was like, oh my god, it's, it's good. It's good. Get it. Oh, and plus it's co-op, I believe. But it's like a new file co-op, so it, that's a bad thing. But good thing still, but get it. It's, just, it's a must-get. Very underrated. Just, oh, and it's by Nintendo. It's not a third-party company. It's by actual Nintendo. There's no, like, fucking third-party developer like Capcom Sega or anything like that. It's just by Nintendo. That's their own franchise, so get it. Okay. Now, game that's for sure by Nintendo, 100%, because... It's, we all know it's by Nintendo. It's, it's the main brother himself. Luigi. I got Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The game that I've been waiting for to play for months. And for some god reason, I'm not even playing it. Well, here and there I am. But not really. Um, oh, it's not bad at all. It's, trust me, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, I don't know if it's better than Luigi's Mansion 1, or if it's like, oh, maybe it's good, maybe it's not as bad as Luigi's Mansion 1, but, 
Uh, as of right now that I know of, I want to say it's about even with Luigi's Mansion, uh, the original. Um, so that's something very great. Uh, and it's just, I'm at the beginning of the game, so that might be like just showing you how good this game might actually be. Uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is also Luigi's Mansion 2 in uh, Europe and other places. And I just called it all together Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon, which sounds better to me. Oh, uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, it's about $40 still, because it's brand new. If you get to use, probably $35, but it's still $40 about, so. Uh, there's also a, ver a downloadable version of this whole entire game, which I don't recommend. You, you know me, exceeding Shadow Slash, Shadow Slash, I see, I don't recommend downloadable games. If only the game is only on downloadable, like Scott Poon vs. The World, or X-Men Arcade, or fucking something else, Castle Crashers, you know I have to tell you to recommend go getting it on only downloadable version only, because that's only it. There's no fucking hard copy, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, I do recommend it. Uh, it's just the thing is, uh, you're probably saying, Why aren't you playing it? Everyone's LPing you, everyone's playing it. Blah, 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 blah. The reason why I'm not playing it is because, uh, that might be the big reason why everyone's expecting you to play it. Uh, plus, I'm also trying to play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which I understand it's not a freaking handheld version. Now you're probably saying, Then no, no, what's stopping you? I'm playing, like, one handheld version of a game. And what is it? K. Decker's Uprising. You're probably saying, that game came out like a year ago. It's like, why haven't you beaten it? I, I didn't fucking get in launch or something. I got the game like, fucking like months ago, but like, I'm getting to the game now, and I didn't beat the game before Luigi's Mansion came out. And now I'm actually getting close to the game, beating it, because I know there's like 25 chapters in the game, which I'm on like chapter 17 or 18, so I'm close to beating it. Anyways, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, it's a really good game. Uh, as always, I can't reckon, I can't, I can't tell you, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be better than the first one. I can't tell you that. Um, uh, there's like, I haven't even reviewed it, like, uh, you know, I have to beat the game, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I wanna do reviews on this channel, but it's mostly gonna be like, just me talking like video like this, so, uh, um, no like fancy John John <laughs> reviews or fucking anything else like that. Anyways, um, or Nintendo, or Nintendo uh, fan for the win or anything like that. So, uh, as always, these are the games in general order that I have told you that I've gotten, or yeah, gotten Shadow Game pickups. I have gotten the game Blue Dragon for the Xbox 360, Resident Evil 6 for the Xbox 360, which you can get also on your PS3. Just putting up. Use a Word Judgment, which is only for the Xbox 360. Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, which is on the Wii, PS3, uh, Wii U, and Xbox 360. Uh, the 3DS version, it's totally different. It's called uh, Disney's Epic Mickey uh, Power of Illusion, which is based off the uh, Castle of Illusion franchise, which I do want to get that game too. So, uh, yeah, that's really it. So. The next one is Sin and Punishment Star Successor, uh, only for the Wii. So, and of course, the last one is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which is only on for the Nintendo 3DS. So, out of everything, I I do like these games. I, I do like them. Uh, every game I buy, I'm always expecting myself to like the game, because I do research about games I like, I know things about games I like, yada, 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 and I'm fucking like, hey, I'm going to take a big risk on this game, because it's new, like fucking... I don't fucking know. Something, something new. Something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, as always, I didn't say in the beginning of the video, I think, but uh, you already have, you already beat, you already finished the video, basically. But as always, if you want to know what the games I've gotten already or said already, they're going to be in the description below. Uh, not in call, not in order, just going to be like whichever order I have them in, just be like by remembering and seeing, uh, the thumbnail I'll have it for it, because that's how I remember sometimes. Um, anyways, or just watching the whole video again, or just watching from the end. As always, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment in the comments section below, and follow me on Twitter on shadow 4 x and Exceeding Shadow. Until the game is go, bless, happy gaming, have a great day, and see you guys in the next episode of Shadow Gaming Pickups. Not news, but pickups. But you might see me on the news. I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so the next Shadow Game Pickups, um, they're going to be mostly 360 games. Yeah, most likely. But the thing is, you're not going to see those games for a while because uh, they have no cases. Long story short, I got a deal on the games. All 
game, all the games I'm going to show you next episode. Uh, well, not all of them. Like, what? Th three games? One game? Josh, again, gave me it for free, actually. Uh, three games I actually got all together at $5, but I need to get the cases. So, uh... I already called GameStop. They only gave me two cases for one. And, and, and GameStop, like, next to Anthony's house, they said they can give me the other one for, like... So, I'm, I'm happy. As always, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next episode of Shadow Game Pickups, as... Like that, so... Oh, and there's actually gonna be two movies in the next episode. Even though it's not Game Pickups, they're movies. <laughs> I just won't see Shadow Pickups, but I shall call it Shadow Gaming Pickups still. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys for the next episode, alright? Deuces.